Hello and welcome to the first part of this uh, tutorial series on how to create a register and login system using PHP. In this uh, part we will be going over the file structure and the databases that we use, or well, database that we use for the system. So right now I'm in PHP my admin and I've just created an empty database called login. Um, we're going to be using a single table and so we'll create that now. The table we're going to be using will be named users and it's going to have three fields. So we'll go and we'll create that. So we have our three fields. The first field is going to be called the user ID. Oh, no, I don't want to bring that up. Um, it's going to be an integer 11 characters long and it will be a primary index and auto incremented just the typical ID field that you have right there our next one will be the, a username field this one we're gonna have a varchar or varkar however you prefer the pronunciation and it will be 20 characters long so you can have a username up to 20 characters long you can make that larger or smaller depending on your system and we're gonna make that a unique index just so that they, all of the um, entries in this field will be unique so there cannot be overlaps in the username and finally we are going to create a password field um, it will be varkar of 40 characters now the reason it's 40 is because the encoding that we're going to use um, we're going to encrypt it using an SHA-1 or SHA-1 um, encoding, so uh, all of these hashes will always be 40 characters long. Um, if you're going to be using different encoding, uh, for instance MD5, I believe an MD5 is like 32 characters or something like that, but you can do your research on that. So that's our table done, the three fields, nice and simple, so we'll save that. And everything's done nicely, so you can click on it, and here we have our table. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at is the file structure. So as I explained in the introduction part of this tutorial series, there's in total seven um, files. Now the uh, structure that I'm using for this is the one that I most frequently use, in that we have a core folder to hold the backend files and then front end are up here. Um, so in our just our root of the directory we have our user file which our user file is the file that um, you saw that has like a mock login type thing so it says welcome user um, and allows you to log out. Uh, then we have our register file which obviously will register the user. Our logout file which will log out the user. Our login file which is going to log the user in. Uh, then we have our co core folder. Within our core folder we have our inc which uh, has all of our library backend files and we have our init.inc.php file that will include um, all of our library files and this will be included in each of these files. Um, but this also like connects to the MySQL database and um, does a couple other checks, starts the sessions, stuff like that. Um, and then in the ink file, we have our login and our register.inc files, and these just hold the functions that um, will be used in the creation of our script. So that is the um, structure, the uh, folder structure, directory structure, and the database for its slash table. Um, and that's all I'm going to be covering in this tutorial. I'll actually start into, or in, in, not in this tutorial, in this part, I'll start into the actual coding in the next part, um, where I'll start up with the backend functions. Um, so yeah, join me in the next part. Thanks for watching.